Assalamu alaikum everyone. Ah, right. It's great to be up here. It's been a hectic day. Sorry for the weird tech stuff. You know, the stuff just never works when you need it to, you know? Uh, that said, who remembers? So, inshallah, let's start with a little mental exercise. There's a part where Messenger of the Covenant is talking and he's saying, if you counted, if you took the stars, and he says, if you counted them, start counting them. One, two, three, right? You would, uh, do anybody remember the end of that? Yeah. You would run out of time. Like, it's longer than the age of the universe. So let's do something today that's even longer than that. And that's 52 factorial. Now, why 52 factorial? Because they're the number of the stars. And here the number of stars. It's a 22-digit number. And I promise it's not actually that mathy. And then the age of the universe. It's a 17-digit number. And at this point, you know, who cares what's up here? Nobody even, like, really uh, sees out of the four. Fun. Who cares? It's basically a really big number. And you can't count it. If you count it, one, two, three, you can't even do it. OK. Uh, well, what's, so again, why, why are we doing this? Why, why do I want to be up here? Because there is, in the Quran, we're given the mathematical miracle. So when talking about why, why, why is it significant? Why did, for instance, Message of the Covenant mention that it would take so long to count this? Why is that, why is that first of all, a significant thing? One of the reasons, again, is because of the math miracle. We're commanded to study the math miracle. And by today, inshallah, by the time we're done, you'll have a much better appreciation for large, really large numbers. Uh, let's start with some verses. So studying the math miracle. It was Brahma Shaitan Jim. Computer is the creature. 2782. At the right time, we will produce for them a creature made of earthly materials, declaring that the people are not certain about our revelations. So that's how, it's, that's how the math miracle started, with the computer. The, the, the creature is the computer. Next, 28, uh, 2783. The day will come when we summon from every community, those who did not believe in our proofs forcibly, continuing on, studying the code. When they arrive, he will say, you have rejected my revelations before acquiring knowledge about them. Is this not what you did? This is referring to the math miracle. So God is saying, you came here, you were diverted from God's path because you didn't even study. You, you saw the proofs, you didn't even study them. They will incur the requital for their wickedness. They will say nothing, absolutely nothing. Studying the miracle. Now, the, of course, uh, we, have to, we have to go over this, right? 7430. Over it is 19. That's the Quran's, Quran's common denominator. 7431. We have appointed angels to be the guardians of hell, and we assign their number. Now, we're going to go over this because, again, the point of this talking about large numbers is to appreciate God's immense omnipotence, immense mercy and power. So, one, function of the math miracle. Disturb the disbelievers. Two, convince the Christians, Christians and Jews that this is a divine scripture. Three, strengthen the faith of the faithful. Four, and the emphasis on this, remove all traces of doubt from the hearts of the Christians, Jews, as well as the believers. This is huge. This will be emphasized a lot, inshallah. And five, to expose those who harbor doubts in their hearts. And the disbelievers, <clears throat> they will say, what did God mean by this allegory? God thus sends astray whomever he wills and guides whomever he wills. None knows the soldiers of your Lord except he. This is a reminder for the people. Mashallah. So again, we're going to appreciate uh, I'll, Keep going through this, and of course, this is one of the great miracles. So, we're looking at 52 factorial because math miracle. And here, 3445, those before them disbelieved, and even though they did not see one tenth of the miracle we have given to this generation, when they dis disbelieved my messengers, how severe was my retribution? One tenth. Now, imagine that. The, the math miracle is more than ten times the, pre the miracles given to the previous generations. That's crazy. So, that warrants. Speeches, studying, and everything. So, what is 52 factorial? It's actually, so now we're going back. Now we're going, so here's the reasons, here's the Quranic uh, things that we need to look out for. Now, 52 factorial is a unique configuration in which a deck of cards can be shuffled. Pretty straightforward. You have 52 cards in a deck, you can shuffle them in 52 factorial number amounts. Now, it's a factorial, just super quick math lesson, that's a factorial. You take three times two times one. 5 times 4 times 3 times 1, 9 times 8 times 7, okay, you get the idea, right? So, 52 factorial goes like this, and it's a pretty large number. That is the number. Across the thing there, this is, it's a 68-digit number. Okay, 68, so if you shuffle a deck of cards, your chances of shuffling the exact same configuration is impossible. It just doesn't exist. Every time you shuffle, it'll be a different configuration. This is multiple uh, mag orders of magnitude greater than the number of stars in the universe, okay? This is pure probability. Great. So now, here's the, here's the fun part. Now we're going to visualize large numbers. Now this number, 
Despite the fact that it's up here and looks really big and impressive, it means nothing to any of us. I, I'm going to wager that 99% of us hasn't, don't know about this visualization exercise, and this is, just means nothing. So here we go. Here's the fun part. We're going to visualize large numbers. First, all credit to this guy who wrote the thing that I adapted this speech from, because that's the thing you do. Uh, all right. Here's the Earth. You're on the equator. Pick your favorite spot on the equator. OK. Now, we're, we're going to throw laws of physics out the window. You're going to be standing on water and uh, doing interesting things. Great. So you're standing on some, somewhere in the equator. That's the spot on the Earth that's the largest of the circumference. Every one billion years, take a step. Just take a step. Great. Make sure you bring like a deck of cards, you know, so you can get a few trillion hands of solitaire in between every step, because you're going to be bored. Every, every billion years, take one step forward. Great. You're one step ahead. Awesome. You have many, 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 many steps to go. Now wait another billion years. No? OK, great. Now wait another billion years. Then finish going around the globe like that. Take a billion years, take a step. Go wait a billion years, take a step. Wait another billion years, take a step. This is going to be a repeating theme. OK, are you done going around the globe? Yeah. When you're done, remove a drop of water from the Pacific Ocean. One drop. Just a drop. For one circle around the Earth, remove one drop of water. And you have a timer. I forgot, I should mention, you started a timer that just starts. It's ticking up. Every second, it's just, it's just a timer. Imagine a little stopwatch. OK, you've taken one out. Now go around the globe again, same pace. Every billion years, take a step. OK? After you're done going around the globe, remove a drop of water. I'm, just going, I'm going slow here. It's going to speed up after this, shall I? You'll get the idea. So again, you went around the globe once. You removed a drop of water from the Pacific. You went around the globe again taking a step every billion years, then you removed another drop of water. When you're done, oh, again, remove one drop of water from the Pacific. Keep going until the Pacific is empty. There's all the water in the Pacific. All right. Now, all right, we've almost passed all the time, right? That's, that seems like it's pretty long, right? Nope. Not even close. So here, every time the Pacific is empty, put a piece of paper like this on the ground, and you're going to make a stack towards the sun. OK, so every time you empty out the Pacific, you're going to stack some papers, and your goal is to get to the sun. Are you, are you having fun yet? All right, so there's, there's a piece of paper. I'm sure it looks beautiful. It's hardly visible. OK, stack one sheet of paper towards the sun. So you, that your goal is to get to the sun, that beautiful stack. This is, everything's out of proportion, in case I needed to say that. St stack, uh, yeah, OK. Great, now look at the, take a look at your timer. How long do you? So, you, you reach the sun. Sorry, that's the point of that slide for some reason. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, you reach the sun, OK? You stacked your papers all the way to the sun. So you went around the globe. Every time you went around the globe, you removed a drop of water. And then you went around the globe again, one step every billion years, removed drops of water until the Pacific is empty. Every time the Pacific is empty, you put one piece of paper on the ground. OK, if you follow. And then you did everything all over again. Go around the globe, remove the Pacific. If the Pacific's empty, put a piece of paper. Everything over and over again. And you're done. You will reach the sun. Hallelujah. Except, well, take a look at your timer. What's the guess? How, how far along are we? Can anybody take a guess? Like, give me a percentage. 13 zeros? 20%? 5%? Well, guess what? The first three digits haven't actually even moved yet. So you have to repeat the entire process a thousand times to get a third of the way to end of the 52 factorial number. So you went one third of the number of seconds required of that giant 68 digit I showed you. A third of the time has passed. So like a third of the day or third of the time for that timer. Now again, that's, that's crazy. So you went, you went, you stacked papers to the sun a thousand times by taking a step every billion years, removing a droplet of water. Every time the ocean's empty, you stack the paper. And you went like that, you did a thousand times. That's crazy. So, but yeah, that's it. There we go, third of the way to 52 factorial. That's if you were counting. <laughs> if, you can, if you could even count. Okay. We're not even there yet. Wait, wait, wait. Now you're bored. <laughs> Let's do something else, right? Let's, you, stacked it, you, stacked, you went to the sun enough times, that's a thousand times, it's pretty boring. So get a deck of cards. Every billion years, deal yourself a hand of five cards. Okay, just, one, just shuffle it. One, two, three, four, five. Every time you get a royal flush, Buy yourself a very sinful lottery ticket. <laughs> Don't, actually. But anyway, th that's the idea. OK, so a royal flush, 
just for those who know, uh, don't, uh, it's, it's a 1 in a 650,000 chance. So like basically 1 in every 600,000 billion years, you get to get buy a lottery ticket. Great. You, uh, every time you win this lottery ticket, you're going to, every time you win the jackpot in the lottery, you're going to throw a grain of sand into the Grand Canyon. Just a grain of sand goes into the Grand Canyon. You follow me yet? Every that many billion years, buy the, buy the lottery ticket, win the jackpot, throw a grain of sand into the Grand Canyon. Every time the Grand Canyon is filled in this manner, remove a rock from Mount Everest. Just a rock, okay? Uh, Mount Everest is like 700 metric billion, like million tons or something like that. So you're going to go for a while. Every, every, when you're done, <clears throat> when you tebled, when totally leveled Mount Everest, check your timer. How far along are we? One fourth from one third. <laughs> so in the remaining time, in the remaining time, you've made a dent of about one out of 255th the rest of the way. So you need to do this. 255 more times, and somewhere between the cycle of dealing yourself a deck of cards, getting a, getting a royal flush, buying a lottery ticket, winning the lottery, throwing a grain of sand into the Grand Canyon, every time the Grand Canyon is filled, removing a rock from Everest, and then when the Everest is empty, <laughs> you get to, uh, well, you finish one cycle. Congratulations. Everest is back. You've got to do that 255 more times. Finally, well, yeah, that's, that's what that makes me think of. <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite. That's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. So now that's that's the comparison. So this is this is just this is just the start. So you finish. You counted all the way to 52 factorial, right? Well, not exactly. So oops. Let's see. Not yet. Uh, hold on. So now, okay. Of course, in reality, none of this would have happened. Okay. The truth is, the Pacific Ocean would boil off as the sun becomes a red giant before you could even take your fifth step around the globe. So like basically less than five billion years, the ocean would have boiled off, okay? Uh, somewhat more of an obstacle is that, however, all the stars in the universe will eventually burn out, <laughs> of course, according to the current physics and science, leaving a dark space, ever-expanding void inhabited by a you know, few elements in the, in the area. So there's nothing. There's nothing for you to even do this. Uh, you know, uh, this is pretty much impossible. There's not even enough time in the universe before or after to even begin to do this. So <clears throat> just to, uh, again, we're going to do some number comparisons. Now we're going to link it back to the Quran. So this is the part that absolutely is mind blowing. So this is for comparison, this is 52 factorial, 68 digit number. It's up there again. Now let's look at some uh, other numbers. Six, what the heck? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Great. So 52 factorial, 68 digits, age of the universe. That's 17 digits. So that top number is what we just did with all the moving the rocks and all that. That's the number of stars, 22 digits. Number of heavenly bodies, 33 digits. Now rem remember that these are souls, that, uh, if that helps. And this is a small minority, even the smallest minority of even the angels. right? And then here's the approximate number of atoms in the universe, 80 digits. So 52 factorial, the number of ways you can shuffle a deck is closer to the atoms in the universe than it is to the number of stars or heavenly bodies. That's crazy. And now, from very large numbers from the Quran, if you, could, if you could pull it up. So we're going to now look at very large numbers from the Quran. Do you, anybody remember the very large numbers? Appendix 1, end of Appendix 1? Yeah, 12,000. There you go, mashallah. There you go. OK, so if you remember that, we're going to look at this. So this is, again, 52 factorial. You can see enhance, <clears throat> enhance. command plus. Zoom and enhance. Perfect. Here's 52 factorial. Here's the fun part. So if you thought that was a big number, and if you thought that, you know, this is a big number and God is, God is great, obviously, but guess what? God did even much big, give us much, much bigger numbers. Here we go. Are you ready for the 12,000 digit number that, uh, that right counts the Quran? Here we go. Oh, I think, are we at the end? No? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Well, it keeps going. Hey, we made it to the end. This is the first really large number. Forget about the, all the other 13 really large numbers, or most of them are this large at least. <laughs> this is the first really large number. Can you imagine that people that look at this miracle and say, 
a human being made this up? Are you kidding? So somebody took this, all these numbers, in addition to all the rest of the stuff, divided all of it by 19, like put it in a row to make it fit a perfect mathematical miracle, put it in the Quran 1400 years ago, hid it from everybody, <laughs> just so that it could come out later, and then wrote all of these numbers and had it all perfectly add up. That's impossible. God be glorified. That's impossible. Subhanallah. And now, as the final punchline, this is not even the longest yet. They're all around 13,000 digits. This is not the longest. So the punchline is I thought, okay, so it's going to take you, like that whole exercise of removing Mount Everest, it's going to take you about, it's going to take you about 350 times to do that. So I divided it. I divided this number, this giant number here, into 52 factorial. The really large number, a number that mathematic, mathematicians consider absolutely astronomical. You need special calculators just to do math. This is the number of times you'd have to count to 52 factorial before you get to the large number that God put in the Quran. That number of times. That's insane. Imagine that. Uh, this, is, this is, so the, again, the point being here, if we can go back to, I'll finish up, uh, inshallah, in just a second. Can I explain it again? Sure, sure. So that, that, this giant number is, so you have the big 12,000, 13,000 digit number from the Quran, right? That includes every aspect of the Quran that confirms it. You divide that by 52 factorial, the 68 digit number. And then you get this number. <laughs> yeah, and then, so basically that means you need to count to 52 factorial this many times before you can even get to the, get to the thing that God already just put in the Quran. Here it is, just for us to calculate. And calculating it requires a special computer. Like you can't even just put it in a calculator. The calculator errors out. So there you go. So inshallah, I'll finish up. So this is God's this is absolute omnipotence. This is so amazing. 72, uh, 28. This is to ascertain that they have delivered their Lord's messages. He's fully aware of what they have. He has counted the numbers of all things. Counted the numbers. All of those numbers, every single one of them, God has counted them. God be glorified. Now, uh, again, I was told you I would emphasize this last verse, 2253. He thus set up the devil's scheme as a test for those who harbor doubts in their hearts and those whose hearts are hardened. The wicked must remain with opposition. This means study the, study the math miracle, guys. It's, it's unbelievably important. And if we don't study it, we're, uh, we're basically just ignoring a commandment and it's, uh, our, our hearts can harden. And if we're not, you know, this is a, a miracle to appreciate by God's leave uh, very much. And I hope. I was able to help with that today. Mashallah. The end. Okay, so, so we're going to take one or two questions, and then we're going to move on to the next speech. So we're going to take um, Nusha. And Nusha, go ahead. Just, just yell. Um, Eunice. Yes. Salam. I, I'm Somewhere. on the this side over here. Um, okay, so that's amazing. So, Parla, um, can you just explain what that really long number is, sure. though, from the Quran, just so we can um, understand how, like, what adds up, or how do you, how is that number figured out? Yeah, absolutely. So that is, if you don't know. That really, really large number I had on there is from the Quran, and it represents, it's a long number that cons consists of about 13,000 digits that includes every verse in the Quran. The number of verse in each surah precedes its verse. So uh, basically you do, you say uh, seven, which is the number of, uh, number of verses in surah one, and you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you do 286, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way to 286. So you write the number of verses in each surah, and then you write every verse out as, uh, and its number. And then at the end, you get to the just, just like a ridiculously large number. And uh, mashallah. So that, that's what that is. Does that answer the question? And, okay, that's awesome. And that number, that huge number is divisible by 19. Yeah, huge, all yeah. of these numbers are divisible by right. 19, by God's so leave. All of the 14 astronomical numbers. Thank you. That are way larger. All of them magnitudes, orders of magnitude larger <laughs> than 52 factorial. Is that it? Do we... Forward and backwards? Oh, the big one, okay. Um, any other questions? Well, that's okay. Okay. Then we're good, inshallah.